One, two, two. One, two, three, four. Strip clubs and dollar bills. Still got my money. <laughs> We're trying to shotgun and get a refill. <laughs> I love that. Welcome to Soft Launch episode 47. Yes. You did that so good. Thank you so much for taking the cue. I'm JC Mendoza. I am Samantha Santos. And this is Soft Launch. And if you guys can't tell, there's some healthy sexual tension <laughs> between the two of us. We've been just horned up. I, 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 and when I say we, I mean me. I don't know why. I want to start that way. You got a little lipstick right here. I'm sorry, baby. Right. But you look great. I'm happy to be here with you. This is our 47th episode. Yes. Um, We're excited to bring it back. Apologies for the lateness of 47. Six. Yeah. That was on me. To be fair, we were both busy, but we got it out. Thank you guys, everybody who watched. And we're excited to bring you another banger. Yes. Get back on our regular scheduled programming. Back to that regular scheduled Wednesday programming. And also, another thing that's back to regular scheduled programming. Uh, we got a date for our next soft launch show. That is going to be June 9th. 9th? I think it's the 8th, actually. Saturday. I think it's the 9th. I think it's the 8th, and I'll bet. I'm going to say June 8th, Saturday, June 8th, 5 p.m. at the stand. It's actually our year anniversary yes. shows. We've been doing soft launch for a year now. We'll clap it up for that. We're super excited to come back with another lineup. We took the month of May off just yeah. to hang out. We're going to go on vacation in a week, so yeah. didn't want to have a show. But we have one right at the beginning of June, so please go to the link in our bio and uh, promo code some, Monroe. Yeah. Purchase a ticket. Come see us. Yes. All right. I have no reason to say this and no basis to base it off of. The show's going to sell out. It's going to sell out. It's going to sell out. I'm not even worried about it. I feel it. Yes. I mean, we feel it here in the home, but we also feel it in my pussy. Oh, you the stick. That's what it is. And we're having a good time with plushing buttons. Samantha's queuing me up. She's throwing alley-oops. I'm dunking them. We're feeling good. We're going to have sex after this. Don't feel weird about it. It's a good thing. It's healthy. Yeah, we're feeling yeah. good. And we're also going to get into our first segment, One, one thing, thing About, about we. we. And One Thing About Me, I'm going to pass it to my baby. Baby, <laughs> what's One Thing About You this week? Uh, one Thing About Me, or Us, I guess, yeah. really. Um, is our baby was very sick this yeah. week and my daughter I know your daughter my daughter uh, Friday was a beautiful day yes, for me was. and Monroe and now you yes it was her eighth gotcha her day gotcha so I've day. had her for eight, eight years. years that's crazy my baby yes. the love of my life I love her so much um, so I was feeling like very emotional yeah. that day and then um came home yeah we well, we also we had a great day with her i took her out for a yeah, long walk yeah. played fetch for the first time she in had a while. great day right now i'm gonna put up a picture of her with the ball yeah it's and and you guys are now dying your yeah, ovaries are screaming she's the cutest baby and she just ramped up her cuteness that day mm -hmm. so we had a great gotcha day spent a lot of time with her went out for shows that night we were yeah. both super busy didn't get home until around 1 30 and um i had one more midnight spot samantha had um no, it was too done. early. I, I had, had two. A, oh, you had a midnight yeah. spot. So you came home before I did. Yeah, you had a midnight, and I was with you. And then I was like, I'm just gonna go home. Mm -hmm. So I went home, and yeah, what I when you got literally. There? So our building has very unique smells. Yes. So I walk in. The our hall. building no. is 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 habitated. Yes. By and a so, lot of different types of people. Yeah. And so mostly just Asian, <laughs> and Italian, and all of the food. It smells. It has a a, a scent. Yeah. So, Charles. with that being said, I love the smell of Italian and Chinese food. Yeah. Um, it, this hallway did not smell like that. No. But uh, I was like, whatever. Sometimes there's some... Yeah, sometimes should be smelling Sometimes there, there's some odors. Yeah, sometimes it smells great. Yeah, and other times, not so much. Yeah. And this day, horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm walking in, I'm like, ugh, I can't wait to get into the apartment and smell something fresh. Yeah. It's like, open the door, and I'm like, oh, my God. Rancid. It smelled so bad in here. Yeah. And I look, and Monroe does not have accidents. I've had her for eight years. Yeah. She's had, like, two accidents, and the only time is because she's been really sick. Yes. Um, so, I walk in, and I see shit, and I see, like, pee all over, but, like, multiple things of yeah. pee. So, I put, the, I put the light on, and I notice there's blood on the floor, and I'm like, I'm going to die. Yeah. Um, and then, so I go walk her, and as I'm walking her, she's peeing little bits, which to me, I'm like, oh, she has a UTI, but yeah. I, I noticed there's blood in it, and I'm like, because I thought the blood was coming out of her ass, which is pretty common if you got the shits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wasn't Shit that was concerned. Scary, but with coming out of her pee, I was like, I don't know what that is, and so literally two in the morning, and she threw up on our bed. She, she threw, threw up on our her bed, bed. Her bed. She threw up everywhere. Oh, my God. She, we couldn't tell if she had a UTI or yeah. if she got back from a night at pianos. <laughs> Cause this 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 poor thing was this bitch going went out for it. her birthday. Yeah, she was <laughs> celebrating. Yeah, it was it was it, it was, was wild. Lot. So we ended up going to the the vet in the middle of the night. It ended up being quick. Yeah, and and thank God, like the Uber gods were on our side. Yeah. It was like 
twenty dollars to get to the vet. Yeah, easy peasy. Got there. It, the, the vet wasn't really. Yeah, and that I just want to. Expensive. I thought it was going to be like five thousand yeah. dollars. I real quick want to say that you know I know you're a great mother already, but sometimes I not fear, but sometimes when you when something happens when you're already having a bad day or yeah. in a bad mood. It's like this. This this could end it. This could end everything. Yeah. We're in blow up. Yeah, like yeah. things are liable to crumble. Yeah. And when Monroe turned out to be sick, you were a champion. Yeah. And I was pleasantly surprised with how, or how much of a rock you were. Yeah, yeah. Because I googled her symptoms just like you did, and I saw UTI, and I'm like, well, I hope that's what it is. Yeah. But then you keep reading. Yeah, this, you like, keep reading. There's other things tumor, there. Yeah. Fucking a, a bunch of horrible yeah, shit. Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, well, I'm prepared for when I get back for Samantha to tell me, hey, it's all over. <laughs> It's all over. No, I'm really good with that. Like and my mom, you, you anytime, were great with it. Yeah, anytime like Duke was sick, my mom would call me and be like, "What do I do?" And I'd be like, "Let's just be like when it comes to like, game time decisions, it has nothing to do with me. Yeah, I can make a decision. Yeah. Um. So I did. We went. She was great. Lady in the front. Oh, what a, MVP what a champion! Of the night. What a champion! Of the night. Make no mistake, Latin Puerto Rican woman. Yeah, I, I mean, 100%. no question asked. Like, yeah. I know, and I know she's got a tribal tattoo somewhere. Yeah, somewhere, and it's probably on her lower back. It's just, just who she is, is yeah. where she's, she's come from. She's also my mother in law. <laughs> <laughs> you kidding. understand? You're not. That's the funny thing. That's why some things are not jokes, they're just true. And one thing about this woman, she has been working at this vet for 25 years. She has yeah, no yeah. ambition to rise up past no, the No, and she front shouldn't. Door. And she's the best. The she best was there so is. serious. As soon as we checked in, what she, we, we walk in, I'm walking over to her, you know, and I'm sure she deals with people that are high anxiety all the time. Walked in. What's your name? I give her my name. She puts it in. She knows I'm an assistant. What, what's, what's the baby's, the baby's name? name? <laughs> what's the baby's name? It's the most serious thing. And it's so funny because we call Monroe the baby when we're being ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, the baby. Look, the baby's yeah. so cute. Or we, the... we just call her the baby all the time. Yeah, it's true. Has it's the true. Baby because eaten? we are, because we're ridiculous. Yeah. We love her and we treat her like our, our full child because she is. Yeah. But it, I wasn't expecting to hear that from somebody from uh, in a position of seriousness. Yeah. And it was a serious situation. We don't know what's wrong with our, with our baby. And she's yeah. like, Hey, what's the baby's name? What's it? so serious? So it funny. was one of those moments that as it was happening, I was like, oh, we're going to talk about this later. Yeah. <laughs> and Samantha says it's Monroe Sally Santos. <laughs> <laughs> and I whispered her middle name so no one could hear it because yeah. I know she likes it to be a secret. Yeah, because she's just like a fought and making yeah. a mistake. And instead of her, but one thing about her mother's going to accept her, but she's going to give her dad a, car, a hard time about it. Yeah, it's what it is. You understand? The only way the like fall too far for the tree. <laughs> Um, yeah. Anyway, it ended up being a UTI. Yeah, and that ended up, it ended up being a UTI. We were in and out. It wasn't expensive. Everybody was super nice. The vet was a. It was. I was the first time that I've ever gone yeah. to a vet, so I was nervous because I hear about it from you, and you're like, "It's we're going to spend four thousand dollars." I so. really thought we were, yeah. uh, but it was it was reasonable yeah. um, for what it was. Yeah. And then I forgot that because Monroe so rarely gets sick. I'm like, oh, I have insurance. Yeah. So I'll pay ten percent of what we paid, yeah, and it's yeah, no yeah. big deal. Um, Monroe has now exited the room, by the way. She's yeah. like enough talking about me. Yeah. But um, yeah, 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 yeah. I was talking about yeah, my business. Talking about me. Why don't you find something else to talk about? <laughs> I'll, I'll give you something to talk about. These clean sheets, I just shit on them again. <laughs> So we came home, whatever, and and it's been. She's been, you know. I feel like she is herself finally today. Yeah, yeah. Last couple of days. Uh, last really couple of days were rough, but my 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 rock, my Dwayne Johnson. Yes. Um, I had a birthday dinner on Saturday. My best friend in the whole wide world. Shout out to David. We said his name. Shout out to David. Shout out to one and only David. David John Raphael. Yeah, there yeah, he that's is. That's what it is. It's a um, it was his birthday. Um, he, I won't say his age because he looks 28. Yeah. Um, it was his birthday and it was his dinner and I didn't want to miss it, but I was like nervous to leave Monroe by herself yeah. because she was still like, you know, had, even though she was on her antibiotics, yeah, we had she to was take her out symptoms. to walk more than usual. Yeah. And I was we like, usually take her out twice. We've taken her like five, six times. Yeah. And I didn't want to walk home, come home to like pee everywhere and blood everywhere. Mm -hmm. And also she wasn't feeling good. You know, I'm a mother, yeah. a mother first. Um, and, and, and my baby said home, yeah. we canceled shows and we, we were just we we hunkered down and we were parents. Yeah, we were. And honestly, that that was gonna be my one thing about me. Like I fully embraced like being a father. <laughs> to your you know, I don't feel like a stepfather. I feel like the father who stepped up. Yeah. <laughs> I love my I love Monroe like she's mine because she is, you yeah, know? Yeah. And um when I told my like some some of my homies, I don't know if they were in the city, but it was just one of those things where um, they're like, yo, what's what y'all what y'all up to yeah. in the group chat? And I was like, yo, I'm chilling at the crib with the with the baby. She's sick, so I'm, I cancel my shows. And Samantha's out doing dinner. And then they started laughing. I'm like, motherfucker, it's not funny. She's <laughs> she's sick. And they're like, nah, bro, you're like a real dog dad. <laughs> and I was like, yo, she has a, a UTI. And then I'm like, oh, what was motherfuckers was coming inside her? And she didn't. And she didn't fucking piss it out. I was like, yeah, just like a mother. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> 
Yeah. She's true like mother like daughter. Yeah. Talking about apples and trees. <laughs> How you like them apples? <laughs> I was gonna start singing the Sheena song, but I can't remember it. I can't remember it either. It was how do you like them apples? Oh though, but, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So anyway, Monroe's feeling better today, and now I'm feeling better because yeah. I've been a little nervous. We were out yesterday. We had shows, uh, at our show, so we couldn't our show brownish, so we couldn't yes. miss it. And the whole time, I had like a pit in my stomach that we were gonna come home to a mess, even though we were gone for like two hours. But mm. I was so nervous. But she, great girl, yeah. great baby. We got our brand new bed because this bitch pissed all over her bed. She yeah. threw up all over her bed. She threw up all over our. We threw had to sleep up, pissed. We had to sleep on Saturday because we came home. And we were like, we're going to do the laundry. But then when she started peeing blood again, I was like, nah, we got to take her. So when we went to sleep, we just put our stuff in a laundry bag. But it was like fucking four in the morning. Yeah, we, we had nothing so, left. So it was just, we slept with about five different throw blankets. Yeah. It was fucking, <laughs> Samantha was uncomfortable. I was right at home. I'm used to having nothing. You're used to living I like come in poverty. From nothing. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this is great. Usually I, I would just be sleeping under really big towels. Yeah. <laughs> so we're still up in my book. That's no, you didn't. Yeah, of course. How many times? That's, I live a life. You know what I'm saying? I crazy. come from nothing, and I, and and in due time, I will return to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that's just the destiny of me. You're gonna break up with me? No, nothing's ever gonna happen. I'm never gonna go back. But when when I after I die, I want people to spread my ashes amongst a really really <laughs> poorly decorated bachelor pad. I want there to be no decor. Yeah. I want there to just be a rug and one recliner. Oh my god, my coworker. I want that TV on the floor. Yeah, my coworker lives alone, and anytime he's got a zoom on, he he like blurs the background, but you can still see. And I'm like, man, if you don't put some art on those walls, he, they're just it's everything is so bare minimum. He yeah. has like a bike hanging from the ceiling. It's yeah. Just bare. Everything is bare. All his furniture is black and yeah. like hideous yeah it's so bad and i think of you every time yeah i don't know what it is and, and i know he's got no pants on i know he's only in a button-down shirt <laughs> and so for 100 percent, he's in boxers i know it one thing about men that you have to realize is that everything on this planet is a struggle <laughs> like to do a, a, a single thing that we don't really want to do it takes everything yeah so like when we come home at the end of the day and then like the thought of coming home to a place and like, all right, well, we still got to do work here. That is fucking fiz It's I can't wrap my head around it. Do work. What does that mean? Like do work to make it nice. Like oh. put something up, hang something, make it like put my imprint on this place that I live. I'm not saying that's the right way to be, but that's how I thought about it. That's why I never cared to do it. But it's like, you know, I, if coming I ever home to it, like peace, this is better. <laughs> This is better, and I'm never going to argue that the way I was living before was better, but I can guarantee I would. that's what would happen. Yeah. No questions asked. If I die a young death. Do what you want. Yeah, I'm not going to, yeah. but hypothetically. Yeah. I'm going to be really upset in the afterlife if, yeah. you, if you're living bare bones. If yeah. you're letting my daughter live in, in, in filth, I'm gonna keep in poverty. Yeah. I'm going to be so mad at I you. I understand, but my thing is, like, I'm going to keep this place nice. But there will be no new plants. Any projects that you had pending, they are gone. No, you're well, going to paint the bathroom green. No, you're I'm gonna not. Paint the yes, you are. The bathroom is the bathroom. No. Not until the building comes in and be like, hey. You're going to repot the fucking plants. <laughs> you understand? The plants, These the, are my children. The plants will not be repotted. The plants will be, I'm like, there will be overgrown. They will be watered and talked to. <laughs> but uh, I'm not going to repot. I'm not going to buy soil. I'm not going to buy plant food. If the batteries and the lights die, the, that's, that, that's it for that. It's just who I am. I don't like it. I don't like it either. I don't like it. We're going to get you in therapy. Yeah. Gotta start treating yourself good. Yeah, no thanks. If you think that I'm going to therapy after you pass, that I'm still going to be putting effort into being the best person I can be, you fucking sorely mistaken. <laughs> Reversion is coming back if this ends. I'm not going to keep going. For what? Yeah, that's For what I like sake? to hear. <laughs> that's what I like to hear. You bring another bitch in this apartment. I'm I'm Monroe bites her. Yeah, I would never do that. You know, understand I'm what I'm saying? Monroe Uthi's all over. Uthi's Uthi. <laughs> But yeah, no, Monroe's good now. And, um, you know, I, I that's the first time I've seen Monroe sick. So it was scary for me. But, you know, I feel like we came together. She handled it well. It's been exciting to see her get back to her yeah. bouncy usual self. Uh, actually, the first time I knew that you liked Monroe more than me, uh, or you were more in touch with your feelings for Monroe than you were with me, is you were you had slept over and then you were going to take the train and, and it was snowing outside. So Monroe was walking and her paws got, like, she started hurting and lifting her paws. So I had to, like, pick her up. And then you were, like, worried. And I was like, don't worry about it. Just keep going. I'm going to take her back home. And literally, JC would leave here. If, if we had spent the night, I usually leave her and then I wouldn't hear from him for, like, all yeah. days. Just, just my way of being like, hey, 
we're having sex and I love you, but like I don't want you to get the wrong idea. <laughs> I don't love you that much. That's yeah, crazy. I don't want you to like actually think that we're going to be together just because we love each other. That's crazy. <laughs> but he got home and immediately he was like, how's Monroe? Are her paws okay? And you were like concerned. You kept checking in. So yeah. that was, I was like, oh, look at it. He's got, he's got, a, it's got a pulse. Yeah, I was like, Monroe, I need you, I need you on your Step A game. It up. Yeah, no, yeah. I need you to stay on your A game. We need this guy around. Yeah, he's going to take you for runs. I can feel it. <laughs> I, think, I think about that sometimes every time I see somebody do it. I would do that, but Monroe, I feel like would hate it. What? No, she would like to go on a run, I think, actually. Like, if I, like, tied her around oh, my waist yeah. and went on a I run. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Now she's getting old, probably yeah, not. probably not. But when... Honestly, she's never been able to because her leg was always fucked up. And then yeah, in 2020, true. I got her surgery. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah. But that's, go, that's, was, that's how I would get both of you out of the house to run. I would have to tie both of you around my waist. <laughs> yeah. And I'd do the fucking stiff arms like Monroe does. How <laughs> would you want to sniff something? No, I would need to put, like, you know, the 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 little carts outside of a motorcycle? Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah I would have yeah. to put one of those around my waist, and you'd have to be inside with an iPad watching? Bravo. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, you're not going. No way. Yeah, with a little bit of a joint in there as well. <laughs> and then you'd just be showing me to, babe, stop the stop running. Look at this TikTok. <laughs> or a dog passed by. I'm like, look. Look at the baby. <laughs> oh, look at the tree. Look at the tree. Nice. Look at my tree. <laughs> but yeah, we had a, a weekend, but we came together. And uh, the baby's doing well. We're doing well. We had a great show yesterday. Brownies yes. was a blast. We had a lot of fun. Uh, we got that one's. We have another brownies coming up at the end of next month. I can't remember the day, but I mm -hmm. get all those. All those links to all those shows will be in our bio. You guys got to come out and see us. All right, that's very important. And if you can't come see us, it's okay. Go to www.patreon.com slash soft launch. Five dollars a month become a super soft to get bonus content. Uh, you get live sets to our shows and. Um, uh, I think you're going to get a video of me freaking out about a beeping sound oh, that yes. you guys might have heard a couple of minutes ago. You guys, if you, you have to join our Patreon, or maybe we'll yeah. just do it as our cold open, yeah. but there is a sound that was going off, and, and JC dumb pissed me off. Yeah, <laughs> couldn't find it, and it was don't right next to me, yeah. and I couldn't be troubled to, to search, so you'll see it. Go to our Patreon. It'll be there, uh, and I think that's going to do it for one thing, but oh, no, one thing about me, yeah, um, I, did a, I did I had my him shoot last week. Yes! I shot with him for the him. second time. I am him, a, a, as always, and... Um, it was my second time shooting with them. Even better than the first. Everything was so much easier. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the whole Hims team. Shout out to Dr. Peter Stahl. Yeah. And Dr. Knox Beasley, my, my two co-hosts. On a, We had like a little faux podcast set up where uh -huh. we talked about like hair stuff and sex stuff. and You potted with somebody else. Yeah, technically. Wow. Yeah. How dare you. Yeah. I mean, they were dudes, so I didn't come as hard. <laughs> but, you know, there was sexual But attention. it did come harder. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, no, it was cool. They were fun. I actually got a follow up with Dr. Peter. He was like, yo, one of my clients is like a, an agent for like Jerry Seinfeld. And I want to send him your stuff because you're talented. Oh, I'm wow. Like, yeah, I got it. So I'm going to follow up with him. He didn't tell me that. I forgot. Yeah. I texted him. He didn't text me back, but I'll text him and be like, hey, I just want to follow up. I'm going to send you a couple things. Hopefully yeah. Hopefully we can push him to the right people. So, you know, long story short, I'm about to be out of here soon, guys. We're about to be rich and famous. Yeah. So get in on this $5 fucking yeah, page while you can. Because the price is not going down. Yeah. It's only going up. But uh, for the one thing about you, I wanted you to tell the story about uh, you hosting today and who you host. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if this is going to mean something to you guys, but all my New York people, they'll know what's up. Today, I was at the stand on the 7 p.m. show, and I hosted uh, and, and got to throw up this guy. I don't know if you guys ever heard of him, but the one and only immortal Goomba Johnny yeah! from the KTU Morning Show. Yeah, me and Goomba Johnny, we go way back. Yeah, so Goomba Johnny is like... So if you are from New York and you are way, 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 if you're a cracker yeah. and you're from New York or, you know, you're just, you, if you're or part of the, if you're an Italian kid, yeah, if you're yeah. part of the New York generation that just everybody's Italian for whatever reason, or if you're not black, you're Italian, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is, that's what was just a time in New York. Yeah. Kumar Johnny's very familiar name. He was the host of a, a, a radio show that I used to always listen in to in the when morning. I was a kid. Yeah, he was like a morning show for KTU. It was you. Elvis Duran and the Z Morning Zoo and then Kumar Johnny, Johnny and, KT, and, I, I and the Morning what, Crew. And the Morning Crew, was that yeah, it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I remember Speedy was there. Something like that. But anyway, um, so like I met him and his name was Joey something Italian on the on the on the list. I saw him. I introduced myself and he's a radio guy. So I didn't know his face. I was like, Hey, I'm JC. You're going up on the show. Any, any way you want me to bring to bring you up? And he was like, Yeah, just say Goomba Johnny. And I was like, Oh shit! I yeah. know you, dude. I used to listen to you all the fucking time. Yeah, yeah. This is pretty you're cool. A Long Island kid. He's like, Yeah, that that's crazy. And, and I was like, Yeah. Anything you want me to say? You want me to say from the radio? And you're like, Nah, just 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 say he's funny. And you know, I, I used to host too, just like you back in the day. I used to host all the time. And I noticed whenever I, I ask guys how they want me to bring them up, I'd ask all these comics, Seinfeld, Gaffigan, how do you want me to bring you up? They would say late night. Just say late night. 
Yeah. They're really simple. But women. Yeah. When I would ask these there women comics, hey, how do you want me to bring you up? They would be like, oh, VH1, MTV. I, I, this was before podcasts. Tell, tell them that I have an article in the New York Times. And they would send me all these things. And I had to say them in order. So you know what I would do? When I bring oh, them up, God. I would bring them up. And I would tell them I'd bring them up. And I'd go like this to the crowd. I'd be like, hey, your next comic, she's a woman. And they fucking lose their minds every no, time they go didn't. crazy. And I was like, oh shit, I just met a radio legend. He was sexist in the first five minutes. This guy's a fucking hero. Yeah, now that is fucking Italian. You understand? Yeah, that guy was, yeah, that, not even 90 seconds into knowing me. He was like, hey, I need to let you know everything about yeah, me and yeah, where yeah. I stand. Which is so crazy to look at you and think that you're going to go along with a misogynistic agenda. Yeah. <laughs> as, you're, as, you're, as you're playing with your girls. Yeah. Right. I mean, right. I, I feel like these bitches do deserve less. <laughs> the bitches deserve less because they can never, first and foremost, <laughs> you know. But no, it was so, he just, it didn't matter who I was. He was letting it out. Yeah. And then uh, Mark Norman, who was also on the show that I got to bring up, um, he closed it out. And then I go, he like, we go to the door because we have to bring him on stage, but I have to light the comment. So we're at the door for like three minutes. It's like, oh man, Goomba Johnny, the guy talks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, um... I was like, yeah, man, you got too big of a heart. Because I, as soon as I heard him on his bullshit, I walked away. But Mark was like, you know, Goomba Johnny was one of the first guys to do a Trump impression in comedy. He was doing it in the 90s. No. I was like, that's a pretty fucking fun fact. I didn't know that. Yeah, and Mark Norman put me on, told me a little something about Goomba Johnny. That's crazy. I do remember Goomba Johnny... Uh, being on the radio show and like if they were flying somewhere because every now and then like they would go somewhere yeah and, like, yeah they would and like and like air from I mean, another came to you from like LA yeah, yeah or yeah, like remember. from like the, like the, like the Bahamas or something mm -hmm. and Goomba Johnny used to have to be in the studio because the guy couldn't fly he was on, he, because he, he was in a little bit of trouble a couple cases on him yeah, yeah. a little bit of criminal trouble yeah. wasn't allowed to go anywhere and I know Goomba Johnny because I was in a joke off yeah. and he laughed at this woman yo Goomba Johnny is <laughs> insane dude yeah. I can't what's that story have you ever told that story before I don't think so Tell it. That's like your, that is your introduction to comedy. That's my, this is my story. You could have been a prodigy. Yeah. I, um, so back in the day, we listened to that show in the morning and I'd be eating like waffles and yeah. listening to the radio and there was a joke off and there was, they have an adult joke off one day and a junior joke off the next day. So I was like nine or 10 Yeah. and uh, people used to call in all the time and, um, I was like, I'm going to do it. Yeah. And then I called in. And I, I called in a couple times and, and I wouldn't get through. Or I've like never think, got through on or the radio. Or they didn't think, you know how many times I've gone through on the radio? Are you crazy? I've never gotten through. I've gone through so many times I was on TRL. I've done it all. <laughs> um, so I like call in. I find, I, I called in. I said a couple jokes. They didn't think, they'd be like, oh, I'm so sorry. No, we picked somebody else. Uh, so I called in. I got through. They're like, all right, you're going to be on the radio. And mm. I remember being like, my mom blow drying her hair in the bathroom. I'm like, this is before school starting. And I'm like, mom, I'm on the radio. My mom like, is like, oh my God, we can't call my dad yeah, because yeah, yeah. like, He's you can't, yeah, yeah. We, and we don't have no time. There, yeah, there's no other phone, line. Cell phone. Yeah. So anyway, I get on the radio. I do my joke. It was, um, not, did you know what joke you were going to tell? You have to tell a joke on the phone to them. Oh, yeah. before. Okay. So I was like heavy on, the, heavy on the joke books and taken out of the library in my yeah. school is taking out joke books. Yeah. You're just stealing jokes. Yeah. Just a regular, uh, uh prepubescent. <laughs> I want to keep that in. But uh, it's well, got to be out. Yeah. yeah, but uh, read my lips. Yeah. And it's very easy to tell. Yeah. So I told the joke and it was knock knock. Who's there? Cows go. Cows go who? No. Cows go moo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what button to press for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah we just need a palate cleanse just because it's bad comedy. But keep going. Keep the story I was going. nine years old. Yeah, and, and still a hack. Yeah. Uh, and then somebody else, when I remember their joke too, I won't say it, but uh, we both got through. Like they were like, you guys are, that was, both of those were really funny. And so we got to go to the WWF restaurant in Times wow. Square. Wow. WWF, like the wrestling? The wrestling. They had a restaurant? They had a restaurant in Times Square. Wow. And this is before WWE. I'm talking a long time ago. Holy shit. So I go, we go, and then my parents were pissed because they were like, this is what we're having, like, and then it was like the main joke. I was here to go up there, tell your joke again, and then the whole, the, the judge, pa the j panel of judges were going to This is decide. Kill Tony before Kill Tony. Yeah, but the crazy thing is they have all these people come out, like people are coming in, you used to try stay things, so people coming yeah. in from far, and you still had to pay for your own meals, you had to do everything yourself, and parents were pissed. Yeah, well, make no mistake, it was run by Goomba Johnny, even though it was a yeah. joke off, it was a shakedown. Yeah, and actually everything was paid for he took my parents money put his pocket <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh so we were there my parents the whole time were just complaining yeah. like, go, they're go. gonna tell us to come to Times square yeah to pay these prices yeah. they're not gonna pay anything yeah they were they, so mad what's this guy goomba johnny more like johnny fucking bots <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny yeah, that's um keep yeah. going but what happened at the joke off oh then this other kid won and his was um what did the christmas tree say to the 
horse or bull or something like that. What did the Christmas tree say to the bull? What did they say? Your balls are hanging. That was a joke, and he won. Ah, that's what yeah, that's what I thought. I think it was just more because it was uh, a little kid right, saying no, your no, balls, no, and he got to go to Disney. And you did the you did the same joke. You had to do the same joke. Oh, okay. All right, that's what's up. Yeah, so it's like anyone who won in the last like two months. Yeah, you got you to remember, be a finalist. Did, did Goomba Johnny introduce you? Yeah, he, he brought was, you up. Yeah, pictures with Goomba Johnny. Yeah, yeah. he's like, all right, and that's next. Yeah, that's so From cool. From the Lower East Side. Yeah. Really? Did he go up to you like, hey, little yeah. girl, how do you want me to bring you up? And he's like, this little, this hey, little I got girl. It. Hey, uh, coming to the stage is this little fucking bra from the Lower East Side. Is uh, her mother's hot and her father's a fucking stick. <laughs> Lilia! No. Samantha Santos, everybody! Yeah! And I'm Goomba Johnny! And then you were like, knock, knock. Yeah. Who's there? Cows say who? No, cows go. Cows go. Then cows cow- go who? No, cows go silly. Mo. Cows go moo. Yeah. Crowd went crazy. Crowd, yeah, crowd erupted. Crushed. I mean, I fucking crushed it. Understand? <laughs> I mean, just like, you know. I was almost didn't go. Yeah. Yeah, because I was like, I don't actually want to tell that joke on. St- I don't want to do that. I yeah. didn't know how to do. Were that. Were you old enough to know that you were telling a bad joke, or did you like, yo, this is a killer? Yeah, babe, I was nine years old. It was, it was a killer. I was nine years old. Okay, so <laughs> what do you think they? They're, they're, so the answer to the question to is that no, you didn't know that the joke sucked. That's what you could have said. So you're nine years old and you didn't have a sense of comedy. You know the kid that I went against that we both tied. His was I'm gonna tell it. I said yeah. I wasn't going to, but Who I had cares? a little Lily in me. Uh, his were what is it is, a race joke? No. What no. is longer from first base to second base or second base to third base? First base to second base or second base to third base? They're the same distance. Second base to third base because there's a short stop in the middle. No, don't laugh. That's clever. That I was guess. my ops. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess it was clever, but I mean. You know, I, the level of joke telling at this time was was very low. Yeah, I mean yeah. it was a different time. Yeah, a different time. <laughs> People like Andrew Dice Clay were popping off. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen to People my like Goomba Johnny. You know, facts. He was doing all right today though. Yeah, I want to say all right, terrible. You know, no, yeah, he, wasn't, yeah. he really Actually, wasn't doing terrible. He's just so old. He's just like he's got to be. You know, it's just an old, different style, different era of comedy. Yeah, he's got to be in the '60s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he looks it. Oh yeah, he looked like shit back then. Um, but mm. yeah, anyway, he had a chain on. He was wearing gold. Yeah. So Goomba Johnny, that's where we start. That's where we end. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the story of us. It's all yeah. wrapped up in Goomba Johnny. Who would have fucking thought? Yeah. But it is what it is. That's just one thing, a couple things about us. And uh, I think that's a perfect time to move into our next segment where we talk about things that are going on in the world. And there's plenty of things going on. Yes. So might as well start talking about them in our segment called I, I So, so Boom. Boom. And uh, you got anything you want to talk about first? Um, Whatever you want. I think first we got to start with the obvious, with the most pressing thing, the heaviest thing on my heart right now is that uh, my beautiful, lovely 2023-2024 New York Knicks season uh, ended tragically recently. Yeah. Uh, They lost game seven to the Indiana Pacers, uh, a depleted Knicks roster, a bunch of injuries um, headlined by Jalen Brunson fracturing his hand in the third quarter. And, uh, you know, what was a beautiful, magical season filled with adversity and setbacks and um, no, keep going. Setbacks can only be eclipsed by the friendship that we all felt by this beautiful Knicks team. And what we thought was going to be star power and athleticism ended up being friendship coming together and the sum of the parts being greater than the whole and it was really a beautiful thing. And as sad as it was to see it ended, it is almost more beautiful to know that this is just the beginning. And while this is goodbye, this is hello to a new generation of Knicks basketball. <laughs> Baby, that was beautiful. <laughs> okay, we tell a lot of jokes. We have a lot of fun. That's the, that's the most meaningful thing I think I've ever got to do with a microphone in my hand. And I'm, that's not even sarcastic. And I hosted my sister's baby shower. <laughs> <laughs> this was way more meaningful to me. Yeah. No, shout out KJ. But yeah, the Knicks lost. It was yeah. a great season. Uh, playoffs were fucking crazy. Yeah, it was as so sad much as fun. I, as sad as I am to see them go, I, I'm almost happy to have a vacation. I could not <laughs> handle it anymore. Yeah, no, the anxiety was a lot. It was a lot. I was, I'm happy to be on board. Yes. This, this, this. You're in. This is your intro. Uh, this is my intro. Um, I, I'm happy to be all aboard. Yeah. And it, this was, this is a perfect time to get in. Can I ask why, what's Nick's tape? I, it doesn't make Make okay, any sense. so it's Nick's ugly. Tape, I hate it. I hate it too. And Nick's tape, I don't say it anymore because it's from a team. Well, well, that's what I thought. Past. So Nick's tape, you know, you know, it comes from uh, Iman Shumpert. Yeah, Iman Shumpert started it. 
uh, pardon me. I can't remember the exact story, but like it was actual tape that he used to use for his wrist. I can't remember exactly. I'd have to look it up. I don't want to give the wrong information to yeah. make it look like I know what I'm talking about. But um, it started on those Mellow teams. Nick's tape became a thing because of Iman Shumpert and Mellow. And then it just stayed. It's just like a, a phrase. Yeah. It's just a phrase. I don't say it anymore because we don't do it anymore. Yeah. So uh, Bing Bong was a thing for a while. I yeah. think that shit is dead. I don't know what the next thing is going to be. I think right now it's like Nova Nicks. But I think we're we're still in the marketing phase of figuring, of it, figuring out. it out. But this team is beautiful, though. Yeah, yeah. Really fun to watch. Um, there are a couple of things that I picked up during the playoff season that I, I just let you have it because I wanted you to be able to live your life the couple, way A couple of things. What do you mean? A couple notes. A couple I notes about what? Um, unfortunately, when you're upset at the refs, it's it's an egg. <laughs> What the fuck do you mean? When, whenever something's happening in a game and and it's not going his way, JC turns to Tom Sandoval, referee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. The refs. I mean, you know, no, but it's the way you're saying it. It's you're, a referee. No, and then when you come on. Yeah, I get when it when it's when it comes to the Knicks, especially <laughs> like I get I'm a child. Yeah, it, and like, I I'm can petulant. tell. I'm yeah, petulant, yeah, bro. Who are you telling? I know, I know, I can't. But I was like, what? That's is the one this? thing in my life I can't because I can't handle it. Yeah. When it's not going my way, it's like I, I, am physically sick. I can't, <laughs> I can't be mature about the Knicks. Like it's like, oh, come on, man. That's, 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 I can't do it. I really can't. And it's the only thing in my life I'm like that. Like I, I feel like I'm a mature guy. I've grown up. Yeah, yeah. But about the Knicks, I'm like, oh my fuck, because I, I believe that everything bad happens is going to stop us. Yeah. Because I don't, I don't, sometimes I don't feel like we can bounce back. Yeah. I yeah. feel like guys, it doesn't matter how healed they are. Yeah. It doesn't matter what work they've done on themselves. If mm -hmm. you want to see them in their true form, pre any work they've done, yeah. see them watching a game yeah. of their favorite team yeah. and uh, watching it go badly. badly. Yeah. And you see, and I'm like, oh, oh thank God. Thank yeah. God you have done the work yeah. and you are the man you are today be. yeah. because you would just be an annoying little Kid. Yeah, I wasn't in my kid. I really literally, was. I was watching it. I'm like, I wanted to put you. Why don't we put you in timeout? I'm sorry, baby. I really was a. An, I was the worst. I used to cry every time yeah. I gave up a goal. I used to fucking. I used to be up and down. Like my emotions were so in my sleep. Like anytime, if I struck out, I cried. Yeah, I could not. I did not have the emotional tools to handle the up and downs of a game, let alone a season. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like yeah. everything that happened was the biggest thing that ever happened to me. And you know, as life goes on, you learn that that's not the case. But sports. It feels like it the feels case, like though. that, yeah. Because like, it feels like yo, this was the closest we've ever been, and this is the closest we'll ever be. You know, and yeah. I mean, that's not true, but that's how it felt. That's how it feels. Like, it does it feel like, like a that. magical season. I'm not defending it, but yeah, 100. No, no, it's very funny. And I'm, I'm, not, I, and I'm not changing. I I almost turned into my mom and be like, if, if if you don't stop whining, I'm gonna give you something to whine about. Yeah, yeah. I, and I'm not <laughs> changing. That's something I won't change about. Yeah, that's how it has to be when I watch my. Notes. And so that was a bit of a nick. And then yesterday, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm so glad you put it out, but it was. I know that that video <laughs> might have thought like that was not that happened. I was in the bathroom yeah. getting ready to go to our show no. and I hear Natasha Bedingsfield's unwritten being yeah. played over and over again. Yeah. And I could tell he's sad. And I'm like, Hey, I know you're sad, but I got to capture this right now. Yeah, this is hysterical. <laughs> yeah. I'm so like, there's a, there's a comp <laughs> compilation of the Knicks beating the Philadelphia 76ers in round one to Natasha Bedingfield's uh, masterpiece called Unwritten. And it really is beautiful. It encapsulates all the most the best moments and it makes me feel good. Yeah. And, um, you know, I just watched it like 10 times yeah. because the Knicks just lost and I needed something. Back to back. Feel the rain on your skin. DiVincenzo! Bang! <laughs> bang! It was, it's mon monumental because Mike Breen, the announcer, the double bang, he only pulls it out for heaters. Heaters! Because bang is, that's what he says. Yeah, bang! Yeah. But he gave us the double bang. That's iconic. He's yeah, only yeah. given like eight in NBA history. Oh, wow. And DiVincenzo's three was one of them. Yeah. It's a big deal. Almost couldn't hear him over Natasha. Yeah. I mean, and, and, and I think whoever made that mix, I, they should have, they didn't pay you enough. It's beautiful. <laughs> uh, but yeah. yeah if that you guys was... want to see that video, go to my, uh, go to my Instagram at Peach Fuzz Poppy and like it because Samantha came with that great idea. And I was like, this is so good. I'm so sad. This has to go on the grid. Yeah. It was very funny. Yeah, but, okay. um, so that was that, but that was that, that was, that was my, uh, recap of the Knicks, but I didn't want to bring up how you are. Our I baby. wanted you to. I wanted you to sure. to enjoy it and yeah. then bring it up after. I appreciate that. And I know and you're going to do it again, I but will. I'm glad I got a couple, I'm glad I got about six months vacation. Yeah, because yeah, I can't. I can't with the Knicks sometimes, man. And basketball stuff, because Arsenal, I get 
I get more angry at the players when I watch Arsenal because soccer is a different sport. But basketball, there's so many things happening so often that, like, with the Knicks, I know it's teetering. And if it goes wrong right now, that's it. Mm -hmm. And, like, I can't tolerate the ref doing it. I can't. Yeah. As soon as the Knicks get the ball, foul. They're not going to call it. They really were, though. (laughs) Foul. Referee. That's a foul. Cool. Like, But they were really, I mean, they were mad fucking aggressive with Brunson on the perimeter. (laughs) But it's whatever. I'm really, as you can tell, I'm not ready to, like, riff about it. Because there's jokes to be had here. And I'm like, all right, I want to make the podcast worse because motherfuckers don't know that there is an yeah. agenda. There's an anti Knicks agenda in Adam Silver's NBA. It's an anti Knicks. Uh, it does. The, the it whole does media feel is it. against us. Yeah. And I know it's easy to say this because we lost and now we're looking for reasons, but it is true. Everybody yeah. wants to say it on the Knicks. But it's definitely whatever, true. Um, That's what it is. Any, what, are, what are your takeaways from your first, like, real, like, intense as a, like, because for me, this is like my first adult. Like, like the Knicks were in the playoffs last year, but, you know, Randall got hurt and the expectations were different. Mm-hmm. This year we were, like, magical, so I was like, yo, this is a real run. Yeah. For you, what was it like for you, like, coming in and seeing all this um, frenzy and getting caught up in it? Uh, it gave it gave me 2009 Yankees. Yeah. Like, I, and I, when our teams are doing well, I, it makes me feel closer to New York. Yeah, it does. So, like, it was really fun to, like, see people in the street with, like, Knicks stuff on, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love this. Walking around the city, people stop me, go Knicks and seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Cause, it, cause, and I'd be like, why are they talking to me? Meanwhile, I'm in full Knicks uniform. Yeah. I have a Brunson jersey. Full. I have these shorts, the Knicks socks. I have the, the orange and blue sneakers. Yeah, he was ready to play. Yeah. Yeah, he was like, Jalen's hands hurt? I was like, Put baby, me in I was like, baby, get me the tape and the shooting sleeve. <laughs> get some gel because you're braiding you're my braiding hair. hair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Isaiah Harnstein's not the only white looking guy with some black in him that can get out there for the New York Knicks. I tell yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I thought it was great. I had such a good time. I, I'm like fully excited for the season. Yeah. It was I missed fun. them already. It was fun. I, 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 I'm a very particular guy when it comes to watching games. When I watch my teams, I, I like to be by myself. Yeah. I, even when I'm at the stand with other Knicks fans, I hate their takes. I hate the way they feel yeah. about things. I don't want to hear their opinions for the future. I want to be by myself. Maybe around my dad, I can tolerate it from him. And sometimes around the homies, but like I, I need to be isolated. I need to be able to be my full self, and Samantha's part of that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was it watching it with me? I loved it. I loved it. Um, you get into it. You yeah. really got into it, and it's a lot of fun to see. I can only imagine it's how you feel when I pick up your shows and I get like heated and intense. I'm like, yo, I fucking hate this bitch. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, cause I like, I'm like, yo, I fucking hate Lala and Smith. It's like, yo, this is why you're you're my you're my yeah, man. Like, you and then I'm watching you. You're like, yo, fucking Halliburton, such a bitch. And I'm like, yo, that's why you're my fucking baby, bro. <laughs> Right or die. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's fun. Good times. I really loved it. I had. I'm excited for the season. Yeah, and then we we found different things about the Knicks to connect on. Like uh, once Samantha found out that they're all friends. Yeah, that's all it took. That's all it took. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you just give me a storyline. Samantha. Samantha found out they were all friends, and then she woke me up at six in the morning one time. She's like, "So, Divincenzo was in Brunson's wedding, <laughs> but, but Josh, Josh Hart, Hart was not. Wasn't and- because did you know they didn't really like Josh when they met him." He Brunson kinda, always did. Yeah, Brunson, they got along, but like him Even and Diva Genzo, yeah. they fought. Did you know yeah, that? Yeah. Threw a weight at him. He tried to throw a weight at him. Mm-hmm, a whole plate. Yeah. So that's why. It was, so they but started off rocky. Now. They're, they're good now, but they, it wasn't always like that. Do you like it when I bring you? I love it. <laughs> I love it because that makes me more excited. Because that, because those are the things like we can. Me and my friends in the group chat, we're talking about percentages and this yeah, and that, yeah. and like you know nerd stuff and like yo, he's not nice like that. And then when I can come in like and did y'all know that fucking Diva and Genzo and Brunson fist fought song? <laughs> I mean, defense on heart. Did y'all know that? Shit is kind of yeah. crazy. And they were like, word? Because yeah. like we, the NBA is fun to watch, but the tea is real. The tea is real. And it's hot. And I'm going to find out all the tea. Because if you think I'm not going to subscribe to their podcast, oh. I'm going to keep up all, 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 all off season. Yeah. And, and we're and we're just going to, I can't wait for fucking, can't wait for, can't wait for the next season. <laughs> can't wait for the season premiere. The season finale was heartbreaking. Yeah. The finale was tough. But yeah. you know, I, I feel like next season they're going to come yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah. I feel like the, We'll yeah. see who they bring back. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, they got to go through contracts and stuff like that. So I don't know if I don't know if everybody's going to be back. Yeah. But, you know, maybe some new. I, I think we'll use some fresh blood. Some we'll new see. blood. <laughs> some new blood. Yeah, we'll yeah, see. It'll be interesting. I can't wait for the trailer. <laughs> it's going to be a good time. But it was a good time for the Knicks. As sad as I was to see it end, I'm happy for the future. I know it's going to be good. Yeah, I'm excited uh, for What else has been going on in the world? Uh, we got to talk about fucking Diddy and Cassie. Bro. Yeah. Again, I thought this topic was done. I thought, honestly, that Diddy was going to skate by take like a year or two off and then come back like nothing happened. I thought the same thing. I was like, he's going to lay low. Yeah. And then like in a couple years, he's going to pop up and people are going to forget why they were mad at 100%. him. 100%. And, and I was like pissed about it actually. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, now this video resurfaces and it's it was really gross. It was horrifying. It was dude. horrifying. And I think even the most hardcore misogynist saw that and was like, Oof, brother, yeah, this is a little bit wild. 
Because, it, it, I mean, you don't even need the context, bro. No. Like, in the video, it looks like Cassie had, she just grabbed what she could. Yeah. And, like, and trigger warning, by the way. Like, yeah. she, she just grabbed what she could, and it looked like she was, like, haphazardly trying to escape. Escape, and she was. And then fucking Diddy comes out looking like the fucking Tyrannosaurus Rex from Jurassic Park. Yeah, it's wild. Like, chasing down the Jeep. And no, couldn't even be, couldn't even put his clothes. She, she was probably trying to run when he was in the shower. Yeah, no, he, um, according to her story in, in her lawsuit, they had already gotten into a physical altercation before that. Yeah. And he, she had a black eye. Jesus. That's why she has a hood on. Mm. And so he was drunk and passed out. And when he went to sleep, she tried to get out and he woke up when she left and he was pissed and he followed her and chased her. So Bruh. that's the story that she put in her thing. And yeah. And then he came out and said that it wasn't. You know, he said every, it wasn't true for so long, yeah. since November, yeah. and now he's like, I, I, I apologize. It's like, to, to who? You denied it. Yeah, there's also some some of that you can't really say sorry. Like, there's not an apology for that, man. That's just what you did. That's just what you did. And you didn't stand, like, uh, you're not supposed to stand on beating women, but, like, you gaslit and made yeah. it seem like it didn't happen, and yeah, now the you, footage is out, bro, you're cooked. You made it look like she was just trying to get money out of you. Dog, even our Kelly fans are like, yo, Diddy's gotta go, bro. <laughs> Honestly, no, it's, it's wild. And if like, you know, that's not a one off thing. No, that's not know. something that happens one time. That's just something that they caught on camera. That's something they caught on camera. He and how, knows where's behind. And how comfortable he was to do it in a public space. I'm like, oh, my God. Dog, this woman must have been living in fear. Dog, it looked like a WWE cutscene. It bro. was wild. It you was would so think if, if you couldn't see their faces or the color, you would have thought it was fucking Randy Orton, bro. Yeah. You would have thought it was The Rock beating up Roman Reigns outside by the fucking bus. He was wild. <laughs> it was crazy. He dragged the shit, fucking kicked the shit, and fucking dragged her back yeah. to the hotel. It was horrifying. It was horrifying. And then it's like, obviously, we don't know Diddy, but like him putting up that apology and me seeing people like in his likes Yo. And, and commenting. Name them. No. Say one. No. Okay, well, people that we know... I don't want to say. And, 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 ...and operate in comedy with... Like, Diddy posted an apology video. To watch it is one thing. To like it is to like crazy. It is a, to be in the comments... Yeah. ...is a whole other thing. Yeah. That part. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. King. Crowns. That's crazy. It's wild. An Finger crossed emojis. Yeah. What are you doing? Also, fucking Stevie J in the comments. This prayer, prayer hands. hands. Bro, that's crazy. Prayer I'm hands like, bro, nice. and that's because he has also, like, on television abused women. Yeah, y'all don't got to make that a fraternity, bro. It's wild. My shit, my, when it comes to stuff like that, like, you don't have to you don't have to do nothing. No. You could really just let it go by. You could just, as everybody else is doing. Like, Yo. I'm sure there are people that, like, that didn't like his stuff that still fuck with him. Mm -hmm. But they have the sense to be like, I'm not going to publicly support I should distance you. myself from this yeah. on the internet. Yeah, it's crazy. It's wild. Bro. It's so crazy. Um, I'm not surprised. I It does make me, like, lose faith in, you know, you just, it's like, it's, you know, R. Kelly, I, I liked his music. Um, and it was, like, a big thing. Yeah. But, like, did he? Like, Did he, th this is the this hardest is the biggest, one for me. This yeah. is the biggest one. Like, I'm like, I love like that well, he, era of music. Like yeah. when Bad Boy was big. Like, and now I'm just like, oh, yeah, you son of a bitch. Yeah, you're really trying to ruin this for me. Yeah, because it's crazy, man. It's. I think the big takeaway for me and this Diddy and Cassie shit is we have to find a way to free our black celebrity icons from the confines of elevator cameras. Jesus Christ. If you are a black king or a black queen or just a black royalty person, yeah, and you're thinking about staying in a hotel, maybe stay on the first floor. <laughs> maybe uh -huh. don't. Maybe don't get in an elevator. Yeah. Maybe take the stairs. Yeah. Okay. Ray Rice elevator. Yeah. Quavo and Sweetie elevator. Yeah. Who else got caught in Beyonce? The elevator? Beyonce. Of Jay -Z. course, sometimes shit goes down when there's a billion dollars in yeah, the elevator. Yeah. Maybe, maybe what goes down, maybe it shouldn't go down. Yeah. Maybe it needs to stay on the ground floor. Yeah. Uh, but gotta say, if we're gonna say any of those that were easy to watch, it was Solange beating the shit out of, out of Jay Z. Yeah. I mean, that was a fun one. It was bad. I mean, of course, if you're gonna have a, an elevator scandal, let it at least be the woman winning the fight. Yeah. I mean, it was so. so it great. might be a scandal, but at least you're on the right side of history. Yeah. And also, there's been people. This is the part yeah. that like now Diddy's going down. Everybody wants everybody to go down. So it's like Jay Z and, and Beyonce are shaking in their boots. I'm like, if Jay Z hit women, we would have seen him even cock back a little bit to hit Solange. Yeah. That like, if like he, he was gonna hit like. 
in the face. Dog, if he hits women, he hit it really well. Yeah, he knows he can. He has composure, which he, is not something that people that hit women usually have. Jay Z, if Jay Z hits women and he wasn't even flinching in that situation, he must have had the most hard body person of color mother of all time. They'd be like, "Yo, wait till we get home." Yeah, because <laughs> to, to have wait till we get home energy and a and a fucking elevator that yeah. you think is completely closed yeah, off to my, the world. Yeah, my mom would have whooped my ass. Right in that elevator. elevator. We're home enough. Yeah, yeah. I feel I feel comfy. <laughs> Home is where the heart is and where these hands are. <laughs> Eat the shit. Yeah, but that nah. one was the fun one to watch. The rest of them have all been terrible. Dog, honestly, at this point, like, when the whole Diddy shit started, I didn't think he was, I didn't know, like, I didn't know it was this bad for him, honestly. Yeah. So now I, I, I'm putting myself, not putting myself in a position, but history has moved in such a way where people say, be careful of Beyonce and Jay-Z. I'm still going to listen to them yeah, and I'm going to yeah. hope they're but innocent. Hope they're innocent. Well, but motherfucker, you, I can't make any really statements with any, definite, with any like fucking definiteness. You wouldn't know, but have you speak that way about the queen again? Yeah. On on a, on a recorded line? Yeah. You're going to be in some trouble. So sorry. And I, yeah. I don't think it's true, but you know, fuck me, man. This, yeah. this whole shit is crazy. But yeah, big takeaway, you know, don't put your hands on a woman ever. Yeah. And fucking maybe take an escalator, bro. <laughs> Take the steps, you lazy pieces yeah, of shit. Yeah, maybe burn some more calories, dude, because this is not serving anybody. Yeah, no, it's it's really, it is really well, it's serving sad. justice, but I yeah. mean, don't do it in the first place. It's really sad. People like needed to see that to like believe it's true. I mean, as soon as I saw Cassie, no. as soon as we heard about it, I I remember saying, "Oh, Cassie's suing." He did it, bro. Because he the, the lawsuit came out, settled the next day. You know he did. Yeah, that yeah, shit, bro. couple hours. Come on, also, bro. I remember, I remember when Cassie had that haircut. I was like, that is not a choice. Yeah. That's not who does who wants that, that? she had beautiful one. hair and it's giving Dog, that's exactly that's, what I mean, happened shit, that it could be argued that that was as detrimental to female beauty standards as fucking Kardashians getting a bunch of work done yep because that it's, fucking side cut had, had bitches in a choke and a choke hole and they forgot they didn't look like Cassie yeah so it just had bitches was, looking like yeah it was like oh okay trailer park aesthetic yeah it was okay it was, heroin it wasn't great on Cassie and she's I don't know a 20 yeah she's gorgeous she's gorgeous and and she, but she was able to somehow it worked yeah um and then everybody else got it. And I was like, what are you doing? Yeah. What a crazy man. Shit. Yeah. Man, shout out to Cassie. Hope she shout gets out everything. Cassie. Shout out to Cassie. Shout out to Cassie. Everything that she deserves. And Diddy's got to go, bro. We got to get him out of yeah. here. Yeah. Shout out to Cassie. She was a, she was a model in a, a tween, a tween clothing line when I was growing up. Yeah. Cassie was in, it was called Delilah's yeah. or Delia's. Adelia's and uh, she was a model in there and she was really big for like my generation yeah. like girls my age were like she's so beautiful like and she would be modeling clothes that we would want yeah. uh, and then I remember my senior year they're like oh my god that girl that used to be in that magazine has a song me yeah. and you came out no she's staying relevant yeah unfortunately in this case getting it doesn't matter but she found her she found her forever I actually was um, searching her her her, shit, man. her stuff and I I remember when she got her new man and I remember thinking something gotta be off because she married this guy so fast and she was a ditty for so long yeah man um, just, she had to escape man yeah this so I was like this guy it. yeah so anyway I was watching her stuff and it made me feel like um, obviously I've not been through anything close to what she's been through yeah. but I'm like ugh I'm so happy to see people get happy endings and I'm happy yeah. for myself I got a happy ending Facts. cause it's like I Again, nothing close, of but I, I've dealt with some wild ass shit, mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh god, it is so nice and to see. And also, Cassie's 37, her man 30 years old. Come on, dog, he knows the vibes, man. <laughs> yo, there's actually been a trend on Twitter. Have you seen it? Like, yo, you must be a sick man if you like older women. And oh then no, I it's seen just it. and it's just guys posting pictures of like fucking uh, Marissa Tomei, yeah, who you look like, yeah, and then uh, a bunch of like um like Selma Hayek and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, like, yeah. These motherfuckers know what it is, man. <laughs> Yes, I'm hard because I mean I'm fucking dead. Yeah, I mean you know, but y'all, fellas, man, you know, or don't <laughs> leave them all to leave them to me. Yeah, well, except you're taking. What the yeah. fuck are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. So we have anything else to talk about? Um, I think we wanted to talk about the a documentary we just watched, but I feel like we should get into it behind the Patreon because okay. we don't want to give spoiler alerts. But the documentary we just watched is called Ashley Madison. Oh, the Ashley Madison one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just watched the Ashley Madison documentary on Netflix. We're going to talk about it on our Patreon episode so we don't spoil it. Yeah, and then but maybe we will we'll talk about it next week. I yeah. feel like we we'll should. Talk, we'll, yeah, we will. Because we'll it's going it to be, it, it, you guys should all be watching. It just dropped. It's it just really, dropped. Really, so we want to give you guys some time. Yeah, we also have been on such a documentary kick. Big time, yeah. If, so if, if motherfuckers you, get murdered, we've seen it. Yeah, we've seen it. And But if you have anything to recommend to us, yes. please let us know 
know. We will watch it. We will talk about it. Put it in the comments. Put in yeah. the Google link that we always have acti- uh, active. Active. And if you guys also, even if it's not a show suggestion, drop a comment. Drop yeah, a like. Please. Drop a subscription. We need it. Tell your friends. We want to grow. And that's how it helps. That's just what happen. it is. So we're going to talk about Ashley Madison behind the Patreon. But right now, we want to get into our last segment, our favorite segment called uh, That's, that's what, what They, they Say. And uh, we put out a prompt today. And the prompt was pettiest thing you've ever done. Yeah. And you guys came through. You showed out. You cleared those vocal pipes. You went full Petty LaBelle. Yeah. And you started ringing some bells. Yeah, they must be from Jersey because their name is Petty Wop. (laughs) (laughs) You went to Steve. That's a heater, dude. That's a really good one. Fuck. I was in the shower thinking about fucking Petty uh, puns, and that was really good. So Petty White. That's all I could come up with. Yeah, where's a couple Golden Girls? Just a couple Petty Whites. (laughs) But um, you guys came through. And uh, we're going to go over a couple with you yeah. before we get up out of here today. Um, I do want to say my first before we start. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, baby. I'm going to say uh, my my um, my pettiest story yeah. is my ex had my um, I used to have like a direct TV stream. It was like an app. Yeah. And uh, on the app, he must have still had my password because I would like, turn it on. And it would always be on a sports channel. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I was watching Bravo. And that's yeah. the only, I'm not, I'm not, I have not changed my channel in, in ages. Yeah, I don't care what the Raiders are doing. Yeah. <laughs> so I put the TV on. And uh, the Celtics, He's play, they're playing. And it's like the fourth quarter. And yeah. it's the playoffs. And I was like, I could just let this be. Yeah. Be the bigger person. Oh, I- I could change the password at the most inopportune time. So were you watching the game waiting for it to get good? No, I happened to turn it on and I was like, I mean, it's a sign from God. Wouldn't it be crazy? Wouldn't it be nuts if right now he got signed out? Yeah. There's just a couple minutes left in the fourth quarter. Had to be done. Had to be. And you did it? Yeah. 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 And that's just why women are better at everything yeah. it's just it's it's yeah it's, you guys cheat better you get revenge better it's you all make in the 70 head, yeah. cents to the dollar better motherfuckers can't fuck with y'all like that yeah put us in charge and yeah. we'll fuck up every we will fuck everything up everything yeah. everyone will be in line yeah yeah yeah. like we're not gonna go to I mean, war fuck up in a good way yeah yeah like we're not gonna go to war like nuclear war won't be a threat no but we'll, if you don't think that those fucking un meetings are gonna be awkward yeah if you don't yeah that's what i was gonna say if you don't think those un that you could cut the tension with a knife, yeah. a knife at those un meetings yeah you got nothing coming we're not gonna actually fight but um nice haircut kim jong-un <laughs> <laughs> oh no yeah i used to have an undercut in 06 <laughs> <laughs> No, it looks good for you though. It looks yeah, good. It looks great. You look it just like really Jonathan good. Taylor Thomas. <laughs> I don't remember him. Yeah. Oh no, you look great. You look great. Oh yeah. hey, Canada. Hey. What's up, Trudeau? You we like that hair. <laughs> we loved your little spray tan. Was that a spray tan that yeah, you had? Yeah, it was for Halloween or something. Yeah, I don't I know. I don't know. Pull up yeah. the picture, somebody. Yeah, I don't know. Let's check it out. <laughs> oh no, yeah, that that suit is good, but it's just tight. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we say to Kim Jong. Yeah. Your hair just tight. It's what it is. So uh, yeah, I what's don't... wrong with the bob? Something. <laughs> Something. <laughs> what's wrong with communism? Something. Oh no, look, but... it's it's the king from Britain. <laughs> Make any big decisions lately, King? <laughs> or did you have to run him by your little parliament? <laughs> Fucking yeah. Oh, I'm, I I thought, I... oh my god, I thought you died on account of you looking like you're dead. <laughs> you're so old. Uh, I, I think I'm done here. I think I'm going to Brexit this conversation. <laughs> what yeah. But uh, I don't really consider myself a petty person. Like once I put that question out, I know I'd love to talk about people's pettiness, but I don't know if I'm actually a petty person. Maybe I have petty thoughts, but I can't remember anything super petty that I've done. The pettiest thing oh, that I, that I, I re- so many. Yeah. I, I, I wish I had more because petty, those are real like gotcha moments. Like you feel good. It has to feel good. Oh, it feels great. My favorite, like the most recent thing that I've done, we talked about it on the pod before, but when you were out with your girls and um, you, I, I was texting you and you stopped responding and you just wouldn't tell me when you were coming home and oh my god, you were just out a little bit too long doing things that I know you would hate if I did, but whatever, not a big deal because you did it, so everything's fine. But I'm, uh, it's just different. Nobody, uh, I can't be the victim. It can only be you. And um, <laughs> so Samantha stopped responding to me and I was like, you, you told the story, yeah. And know. I was just gonna say, you know, well, I'm gonna retell it because it's <laughs> maybe the only time I've ever been right in this in this in this relationship. And uh, Samantha's out, so I'm like, you know what? Fine, fuck it. I'll just clean up the house. I'll show her. I'm going to clean up the house. 
and I'm going to uh, dim the lights. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to set the perfect aesthetic. Yeah. And she's really going to feel it then. Yeah. She's going to be like, damn, this is what I was missing. Samantha came in, uh, had candles going, I was listening to music, and she was like, oh my God, babe, I love the way you spend time with yourself. And I was like, yeah, I mean, I was doing it the whole time, but, you know, whatever. You could have been here too. It would have been nice. But instead of saying that, what I did was, I, I, as soon as I saw Samantha, my pettiness went out the window. I was like, I knew you were coming up, and I started this song from 47 seconds in to make it look like it was halfway, but this is the first time I listened to it. I just lit the candle. That's why it doesn't smell. Like, and I was running around the house, and I'm out of breath. <laughs> I literally came on Jesus at the couch. I couldn't even I be just petty been right. relaxing. I couldn't even be petty right. I wanted to do it, and then I, I, that's how I know I couldn't be a criminal, because like I would have to tell you every part of my plan before it's done. I didn't even finish. I didn't to tell you my evil plan. I, I told you before I completed it. It was so funny. Yeah, but that's about as petty as I got. But that's why we asked you guys, because you guys, I knew you guys would deliver. And, yeah. Uh, and you definitely did. And we're going to go over some of our favorite we ones are that we got right now. Um, okay, so we got, um, I got one that was similar, actually, to what I said. They said, changed my HBO path- password before the succession finale. Damn. Before succession? Yeah. That's fucked the up. The finale. So she let him watch the whole nah. season. That's so fu- that's so devious to do. Like a sports thing is fucked up too, but I think I don't know a, a season finale of a show because that's gonna get spoiled. Yeah, like you can't go on Twitter. You, that shit, like if it happens in sports, if it gets cut off, but I know what happened, whatever, I missed it, but it's fine. Yeah, but motherfucking, if if I see a meme out of place before I watch it, I'm gonna be pissed the fuck off. <laughs> that is so devious, and honestly, like more time I think goes into the like you got like five seasons into that motherfucker. Yeah, a lot of tensions being built, and sometimes and Succession's comes, yeah. a great show. Some people got a lot of anger. Yeah. Damn, yeah, that's fucked listen. Up. That you know, and you know they watched it together. A hundred percent, they probably you know used they to. watched it together. I love it. I, I, there's nothing I love more than than that. Yeah, it's just well thought out. Yeah, properly executed. It is perfect. It's not not a moment too soon. No, just perfect. Yeah, perfectly timed. Even if it doesn't, really, just a queen. Yeah, even if it, even if it's only a momentary like speed bump in the way of them getting to their finale. It is a moment of fucking panic yeah. for that person, no matter who they are. It's like, oh my God, what the fuck? I need a password. Like, Because you know when you're like in the crib and you can't find something before you yeah, leave yeah. and you're by and yourself? Now, yeah. And like nobody else is around, but you're like, oh my fucking God! I can't fuck up with my fucking gloves! Yeah. And it's like, you yeah. don't know where they are, but you're freaking out. And even if you find them, you still had that moment of panic. I love it. And you'll leave the house and be like, yo, I'm pissed, even though I found everything I need. That's how that must have felt. I love that. So I think it is worth it. That's, I think yeah. it's so funny to think like, imagine him like calling her and, or just like her reaction. Just like, oh, you look, your little girlfriend doesn't have a, doesn't have a HBO thing. That's crazy. Damn. Imagine cheating and going backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the way you just reacted to it is like, I think you, you would rather just be like, just, just fuck somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> But don't change it before. Don't change Not it before succession, bro. There's so much time built up into that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But that's yeah, good for her. That's 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 petty. I like it. I think it's well thought out. I love a well thought out pettiness. That's a top tier petty. That'd yeah, because like my shit happened, but it just was by chance. It was yeah. really the stars aligned for me. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the universe yeah. really had my back there. That bitch, there was planning and shit. Yeah, yeah. This was like, oh, okay, this is when the, this is when this is happening. She pulled a she pulled a lover stalker killer. She was like, I'm gonna destroy everything you love. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And I won't rest. I will not rest until. You know what? And I feel like people sometimes get a bad reputation for dedicating time and energy to negativity. But sometimes you need to. No, it depends on the situation. Sometimes, sometimes you, you need have to. to. Man. It's like, hey, I'm not going to cheat on you, but I'm going to I'm going to upset you. Yeah. Like, I'm going to upset you. I'm going to do I'm going to maybe not everything in my power, but I'm going to spend some energy making sure that things are worse for you than they were before. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I want to know that for at least 15, 20 minutes you were in a straight panic. Yeah, because maybe you'll, you'll get a morsel of how I felt yeah. when I saw you with that other bitch. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like, you know, we do want to be healed, but there is a part of anger and resentment and actually leaning into it that is part of the process. Yeah, and I also feel like everyone's just rushing everybody to heal. Yo, for it's real, like, though. hey, let pe- the, the, the way you heal is when you go through and you're like, you know what, that actually didn't make me feel better and I and now I know I have to do it for me. Yes, my but anger was But you don't know that until you yeah. do it, until exactly. you're changing the fucking password yeah. when there's three minutes left in the fourth quarter of the playoffs. 100%, because like, it's always tough and I, in movies, you know, like when people are like, you know, revenge, it's you, it'll send you on a path and it's not going to feel good when you yeah. get it. All right, but I gotta go get it first to find yeah, out. Yeah, and it's also like, well, how do you know that? Yeah, because you did it. Yeah, let me so feel let empty. Me, yeah, let me let me be the person to try. Let it Let me out. get to that conclusion. Yeah. Let me let me waste. Let me overlook good things in my life. 
dedicate time and resources to negativity, come out on the other side, regret what I've done so I can really heal. Yeah. Because everyone's like, oh, learn from my mistakes. No, thanks. How? Why did you get to live and I don't? Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to do that. you think I'm a bitch? Yeah. I'm just going to listen to what you say. Fuck out of here, man. That's what got me into this mess. (laughs) Listening to other people. I'm going to kill somebody. (laughs) All right, Liz. Um, okay. Uh, okay. We got another one said, my situation ship was pissing me off. So I fucked his coworker that he looks up God to. God damn. That he looks up to? Yeah. God damn. That bitch is a fucking villain. I want to know what he did to piss you off that Warren did such a large reaction. You know, Do you what? know what I mean? I bet you it was something super small. Yeah. He fucking pissed me off. I He, yo, he BCC'd somebody. He BCC'd my fucking supervisor, so I fucked his mentor. I'm like, God damn, for a BCC? That's crazy. A blind CC? <laughs> Bitch, really? Not yeah. even a full CC? Damn, that's She fucked like... his coworker because he she, he just said, as per my last email. Yeah. She was like, oh, okay. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. As per your last email? Le- well, per, let me put something in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to email you that. Yeah. Homeboy. That's crazy. Yeah. Bitch, just say you wanted to fuck his coworker. I also don't know how that is necessarily like <laughs> revenge. You know what I mean? Like, or like, oh, this is petty. I mean, I don't know if that's Hey, that. I, you might just be a bad person. I think I just wanted to fuck his friend. Yeah, I, you might. And this is, and be that. And you might it. just be a whore, bro. Yeah, just do, do what you do. You know what I Damn. mean? She said, he did something that pissed me off. My situation ship did something that pissed me off. So I fucked his coworker who he looked up to. That is so, that, I mean, yo, that right there. Is why, like men, you think you have the upper. You cannot play these games with women. They're better at it. Yeah. Okay. It's just no matter who the woman is, even if you think you're a bigger catch, she can fuck more people, bro. Yeah. It's just unfortunate. It's not even that hard. If she just like locks in the gym, does a couple sit ups, and like really practices her dirty talk, she can fuck all your friends. Yeah. And th- th- my mentor, I, that would that would break me. Yeah. I also I like like at first I thought like oh. Uh, I was thinking like maybe this was somebody out, but this person that, that wrote this is is in comedy in some yeah. way or another. So I'm like, I wonder if it was another comic and she fucked a bigger comic. Oh my god! I mean, that's like, yo, bitch, you t- you took it all the fun of it. <laughs> like, you, like that for me, if that happened, I'd be like, well, yeah, you won, but that move was always there, and it's like you cheated. Okay, <laughs> that's like you did you did the most. Imagine like I can't do no, I can't yeah. play the defense on that. I have to fuck your mom at that point. <laughs> You're fucking like my OG? That's crazy. That's nuts, bro. That's yeah. insane. I'd be pissed. Yeah, imagine then his his mentor starts having a joke about this girl. Yeah, dog. It's like, um, damn, uh, they're, they're, they're a specific situation in comedy like was up, but I don't want to say it. Yeah, 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 you can't, yeah. But like, if you're going to fuck a more successful person than me at my field, it's like, bitch, you never loved me. You really never loved me. Or we never, you never had respect for me because it's like, of course, you could have always done that. But man, Why? You mean like after? No, like ever. It's like, dog, like, come on, man. I can't do nothing to... There's not enough... T- I don't have enough time in my career to fucking catch up to Mark Norman. Yeah. So if you're going to go fuck Mark Norman, yeah, you win. But it's like, bitch, come on. Yeah, bro. play fair. What the fuck was I supposed to do? I can't do nothing. To- you could have fucked Mark at any time. And now it's on me. It's like, well, well thanks. You could have just cut me out of it. That's so rude. Yeah. Uh, that, I guess that's what make it good petty. But yeah, I guess. That's too far. It's like fishing with dynamite, dude. It is. It's a lot. I that's overkill. I also don't know where you come, f- where you go from there. Yeah. Um, okay. That's not my type of petty. Yeah, I mean, that's you. You. That's like fucking, that's like, you, I don't know. What's it called? What is it, mental warfare? No. 48 Laws of Power? No, warfare. Like um, mental, like what, yeah. I, like that's, I like to do things that are, no, it's not mental. I can't I think know. of it. But anyway, I, I, I like to do things that are like piss you off in your head. But like, yeah. I'm not going to fuck somebody else. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, okay. That's another one that said, kicked an ex out the car for complaining about my music. We were on the highway in Maryland. <laughs> kicked him out of the car? Yeah, he complained about her music. Damn. Who do you think? Honestly, obviously, it's, it's wrong to complain about the music in somebody else's car. That's fair. But now, uh, you know who the person was. I don't know. I don't know who that is. Okay. Do you think their music was trash or was the boy from No, it's probably, probably, I'm always going to have a girl's back. That shit was probably Because it's also like, not you in my car, I'm driving it and you're going to tell me to change the music. Yeah. I mean. You should be feeding me something. That's true. Yeah. Like, I'm letting you be the passenger princess. Enjoy the ride, motherfucker. If you don't like the song, close your ears. Yeah. Yeah. I I feel you unless it's like, but what if she was playing Olivia Rodrigo though? (laughs) Then it's like, That's not a bad thing. Olivia, there's people you could say that are worse. I, was like, I Camilla, don't think Camilla so. Camila Cabello. Oh, pff, fucking Christ. 
Yeah, no, that she is the worst. Yeah, yeah, just you I hate know. the way she walk, the way I hate she talk. talk. I hate the way that she dress. <laughs> I really do. It's like I, I, there's some like I'm getting to the part of my life in in the age where I'm like, I stop trying to understand and I'm just starting to hate. Yeah, like 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 oh, you know, this is a new generation, not for me, but for them, it's like no, this shit sucks. This shit is ass, bro. Why is this a thing? Shouldn't yeah, yeah, be. I don't get it at all. I think in my all- day, we had an uh, uh, artist with taste. You ever yeah. heard of Post Malone? <laughs> I think she's like in her 30s, which is actually crazy. Who? Camilla. And she, Maybe or close um, or close. She sucks. She does stink. She but sucks. Anyway, this late. This she's cr- Cuban, though. Shout out to Cuba. But yeah, fuck yeah. Me, so she sucks trash. and she's racist. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my dad. Dad, if you're if you're listening to this, no, I love you. And drop some Cuban flags. Yeah, in the comments, everything's just jokes. We're just hanging out. Um, yeah. But yeah, I don't. I, I mean, that to me is so funny. I love that she says one for X. I mean, I hope they didn't get back to get. Yeah. I don't even know how. Dog, what, get out of my car. We're on the highway. I, the relationship's done. <laughs> the relationship's done. Bro, I there, uh, remember there's a girl I used to deal with in college. Not deal with, but a girl I tried to date in college. The one that her ex came to, yeah. right, and blew and blew up the whole date. She physically actually rolled out of a moving car with that dude. Got stitches in her head because the car was going like fucking twenty miles an hour. And then they went back, and she went back to him. What was he doing that she had to I roll out of the car? I don't know. They were like in an argument, and she rolled out the car. And she you were like, "That's shit. that's my queen." I was right like, "Bitch, you don't need to be acting like this, man." Only thing you gonna roll, you gonna roll with me. Yeah, let me stitch up your head and your heart. Let me stitch it up. Can Don't I fuck? Bust no, over right, that pussy. Cool. Yeah. Sorry, I'll wait. <laughs> i wait. That's. Baby, you don't gotta worry about you don't gotta worry about that with me. I can't drive. Yeah, yeah. I don't got a car, so yeah. Yeah. unless you're rolling out of the fucking Q31, <laughs> <laughs> which I don't recommend. Yeah, because and I because I can't afford an Uber. Yeah. Price surges. It's just what it is. Just how it had to be. Yeah. That's crazy yeah that's i mean once you get to that level of, a, of of conflict why yeah i mean well toxic it's not like toxicity is lost i mean like i get it like the the feeling of like big fights and then big makeups but fuck me you're get you're physically hurting yourself that's tough yeah well she didn't hurt this guy no hurting yourself i'm saying oh, you're yeah, physically yeah, yeah, hurting yeah, yeah, yourself yeah. rolling out of a car that's yeah no, no no i mean the 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 the, the Oh no! But like got. once you're getting out of the the yeah, whip, this guy's on the fucking ro- on the shoulder of the of a highway, yeah. and and now you left him almost there to die. Yeah, because I can I can understand like wanting to to a second to yourself, but on the highway, man. Me and Samantha the other day, I was in a mood and I ordered her favorite dish from <laughs> from uh from Castillo wrong. Yeah, and uh, the the dish is uh, soup soupy rice. It's a shrimp soupy rice. Shrimp soupy rice, and I was like, oh, "Can I get the shrimpy, the shrimpy soup?" She said, like, "Can I have the shrimpy rice?" The shrimpy and rice. The lady was like, "It hits on the speaker." So he's like, "The lady's like, what?" He's like, the, the, shrimpy, shrimpy soup? "The shrimpy, the shrimpy rice." And then she's looking at me, and, like, and I'm like looking at Samantha because I'm like, "Hey, can you t- give me the cue? This is your cue to give me the thing." And she's like, "What?" <laughs> and I'm like, "The bit, the fucking thing," because the thing that pissed me off. All right, and I told Samantha that I wasn't mad. I lied. I'm still mad. <laughs> The thing that pisses me off is Samantha's like, please call and please talk to them. I can't talk to them. I really don't want to talk to anybody. Please order for me. So I do it. But then I'm like looking for help. And then she's just like. <laughs> <laughs> she's just laughing. My, was... I'm like, bitch, tell me the order. And she's like. <laughs> <laughs> and then the lady's like, soupy rice. I was like, yeah, the shrimpy soupy rice. Yeah, we know. <laughs> And then, like, <laughs> Samantha's dying laughing, and on the phone, and uh, the girl, to her credit, didn't get upset, but on the phone, I'm like, bitch, what's so funny? Yo, it's it's the most mad I've ever seen you get at me. We were literally sitting there, you say the wrong thing twice. He's like, there's shrimpy rice. And she's like, what? Shrimpy rice. And then she's like, do you mean soupy rice with shrimp? And he's like, yes. Shrimpy, shrimpy. soupy. He goes, he, goes, he goes, oh, yes, shrimpy soupy rice. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you saying? And then I was like, it's not fucking funny. Yeah, so he's like, okay, would that be all? He's like, what's so funny? Yeah, that's all. What are you What's so fucking at? funny? Yeah. I was tight. He was so I bad. Was tight. He had to get up because he was sitting on the couch right next to me to get up and walk away. I was so tight. Because I felt stupid. That's what the problem was. I felt stupid as shit. Oh my God. And then I, I got on the phone. I'm like, bitch, what the fuck is your problem? Wait. She's like, what? <laughs> and this, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, I don't think it's funny. Wait, wait, so <laughs> laughing in my face. Yeah, it was. Wait, then we also we were like already kind of in a, a little in a bit little of a tiff. tiff. Yeah, right. And <laughs> he's trying to explain how he's feeling to me, but I just keep replaying. Yo, because I was like, yo, you know, and I'm sorry for blowing up about the sh- uh, about the soupy shrimpy rice thing. <laughs> I was feeling stupid. I felt unintelligent, and then I felt like you were laughing at me. 
And that didn't make me feel good. And then she just starts dying laughing. Because he's being so- As soon as I said that, and I was being serious, and then and then she starts laughing, I was like, I think I'm going to take a walk. Yeah, he had to leave and take a walk because- And then she goes, oh, come on, are you serious? And I'm like, bitch, I'll hit you. <laughs> no, because I've never seen someone try to be genuine, have a genuine conversation, be like, and the, and, and the shrimpy soupy rice. And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was too soon. This is like three minutes after it yeah. happened. And so I'm trying to hold it in. The whole time my brain is being like, do not laugh. And I'm trying to keep it serious. Yo, crazy. And then I couldn't do it. And I just was literally like, I'm so sorry. Bitch is disrespectful. Yo, I was hot. Because I was, now, now I was like, yo, <laughs> the, first, the first time is funny. The second time I'm like, yeah, I was just feeling inadequate. I was feeling like you were really like, you, I felt like you were making fun of me. Like you were laughing at me. Like, and I felt stupid and I didn't like that. And then she, I, I'm sorry. I, I can't do that. I'm like, to my face, bro. Yo, I was hot. Fam. I was hot. I was no, hot. yeah, was it was hot. a lot. Was I, I felt bad, but it was like, you didn't let me get through my laughs enough you started immediately getting into a serious conversation so i had to quickly get into it yeah. and then you repeated the line and i'm like come on man <laughs> you know what i mean i'm like I, I, no, i'm barely I making hot, it through bro. this hot you cut me but, off at the knees there yeah, you started yeah. saying it in a serious voice i'm like i'm done here <laughs> so the thing with the shrimpy soupy rice is <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, man. But we got past it. And when we got past it, I mean, I decided I was just going to wait till Samantha was feeling really sad, really vulnerable. And I'm just going to fucking absolutely <laughs> off the backboard, through the legs, windmill 360 dunk on her. When was that? In her lowest moments. So you, ha- you haven't had it yet. Oh. I'm just letting you know it's coming. <laughs> and when that moment comes, we're going to have to rebring the petty question back because I'm going to be like, well, well, well. Yeah. Who's feeling well, a little bit less than right now? Yeah. Well, you can't change passwords because you don't pay for anything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. kidding. Say change um, passwords. I didn't say anything about you. No, I'm saying I'm just going to do that. Yeah. I know. I'm just being no, about dude. the petty thing. Oh, man. Um, okay. And you have more. Oh, yeah. I got a couple more. And then uh, then we'll wrap this baby up, put a nice little bow on it, get ourselves the fuck out of here. Um couple that i got got a couple petty petty motherfucking things uh we got this one from maria maverick i don't know if she wanted her name out there but maria maverick big friend of the show one of our most loyal loyal softies we always got to shout her out every time we get a chance to she gets the extra long applause we don't cut it short yes maria says as an intern i told off my manager in a message for being wrong in front of the employees I don't know if that's petty. That's just fucking. That's a that's a bold decision. Yeah, it's a bold decision, and I like it. Yeah, you're an intern. Yeah, I don't know anything about Maria Maverick, but I know she's a Latina. Yeah, I know. I know that anytime somebody does anything light less than stellar in front of her, it's a big fucking mistake. Yeah, girl. she's putting on, she's CC in the whole company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. CC and see when when you say CC, she's not even doing it on the email. She's calling people. Y'all gotta come you CC gotta this, come shit. See this shit. Come see this. <laughs> come see this shit. Look at this shit. This motherfucker thinks so stupid. This motherfucker's stupid. Oh, fuck out of here. That's so funny. Yeah, I've never. Have you ever CC somebody? Like, have you gotten that way? Because I feel like corporate. Oh, that's baby, a whole other bag of worms for you. Absolutely. Yeah. I. It is. Nothing brings me more joy than to put somebody in their place via email. Yeah. I love it. What's your favorite corporate pack up? Um. Oh, I'll throw them all in. I'll throw. I'll write a whole thing. I'll be like, and and I'll I'll write it on an email that I'm talking about. Yeah. Attach other emails that do it. Mm. As you might see from the um, mm. uh, do this. Yeah, the emails that are attached or below. Oof. Yeah. So yeah. I'm not so you can't miss as, them. I'm not an as a per. I'm yeah. like, you might. But yeah, according to the emails attached and below, mm. you will see what I'm. You know, and I'll go in a whole thing. Yeah. You yeah. don't. You don't. You don't remind people. You come with screenshots, proof, oh, yeah. receipts, timelines. Timelines. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I I treat a corporate pack up like I do any a other reunion. Argument. Any other argument that I'm having in my real life, I'm like, I'm going to bring receipts. How do you know you're in your bag? Like, what? what is this something? Is there something that you say that's like, yo, I'm really giving it to this motherfucker? Um, uh, yeah, I, I, Gail taught me like a, a, a corporate pack up that was, please be guided accordingly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit. That is fucking hard. Yeah, yeah, that's my fave. Please what? Please be guided accordingly. Yo, that's hard. That is so hard. If Drake would have used that in one of his raps, he might have had a fucking chance. <laughs> Please be guided accordingly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I is... remember I was writing an email to a tenant, and then he was like, I put this at the end. And I was like, Whoa! <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Yeah. Who wrote that? Did you get that from fucking Machiavelli, bro? <laughs> yeah, it's That's basically beautiful. being like, yeah, pl- make your next move, let it be smart. Yo, damn. That's hard. I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. That's, That's why I do that when it's like, I'm not going back and forth with you anymore. Yeah, no, be, be, this is just what it is. Yeah. 
And it's, yeah, so it's, yeah, please yeah. be guided accordingly. This will be my last, this message will self-destruct in five seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Holy shit, that's hard. That's my favorite. That. All right, another one that I got here was a really good two-parter. Um, it goes, I cut my hair short after my boyfriend told me he would break up with me if I cut it. I love that. That's already nice and petty. Like, oh, word? Bet. Bet. I'm going to do what? it. Yeah. Now what? Yep. I'm bald. Are you going to break up with me or are you going to be gay with me? Which one? Yep. And then after that, she said, I cut my hair short after my boyfriend told me he would break up with me if I cut it. And then I sent him a picture of my cut ponytail in my hand. I love that. I know that her boyfriend was Latino, 100%, because Latin guys have such a thing with girls with long short hair. hair yeah. They don't want your hair to be short, and I've done the same thing. Yeah, La Latin guys, we, we try way too hard to not be gay. It's almost gay. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, like, like, they, like, oh, like anything that's like... Like, yo, you have to, everything has to be so over the top feminine yeah. for their, from their women. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Why are you wearing that t-shirt? Like, yeah, like yeah. dress up. Why are you wearing that? Yeah, your hair has to be to your ass. If you cut your hair, people, the guys will say it's short if it's like up to your tit. Yeah. And you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Guys will be like, you have to dress like a lady, but have pants tighter than theirs. It's like, motherfucker, you're not leaving me no room. Yeah, I know. That's my favorite you're thing. You're in my high-waisted jeans. <laughs> Those are my wedges. And their eyebrows are super arched. Yeah, eyebrows on fleek. Bro, you got you, you used our threading coupon. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm out here. I got baggy shorts. I got a unibrow. You're taking yeah. all of my stuff. You're using my Fenty lip gloss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's wild. But yeah, that's the thing. I've done that too. Or, or like, they don't like change. So like, oh, yeah. don't dye your hair. Yeah. Say less. I'll be blonde in two minutes. Yeah, that's just Yeah, crazy. I've cut my hair off and you're, you don't do that. You're not going to be as pretty. Okay. You're now watch. I'm going to do it. I was on the fence. Now I've decided. So what you gonna stay? You gonna be you you gonna be with an ugly bitch? Or you gonna leave? What you gonna do? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then I come in here and then immediately two weeks later I'm like that was a mistake. <laughs> I hate my hair short. Yeah, yeah. He was right. Yeah, yeah. he saw the vision. Gotta listen to men. <laughs> That's why they pay him the big bucks. <laughs> they only got seventy cents. <sighs> Oh man, no, that's a good, that's nice and petty. And then uh, I think we'll wrap it up on this one. Uh, we got a three three headed monster from okay. one of my good friends who will remain nameless. Uh, but I'm sure <laughs> when, if him and his wife listen to it together, it become very apparent. It's going to be a fun moment for them. Um, he says, My wife was sick of me being on my phone. And we had an argument about it, so I disconnected my service for a few days. Yeah. That kind of petty will end you up in the hospital. <laughs> yo, I remember when he did it because he did it in the group chat. Yeah. And he was like, Yo, she says I'm on my phone too much. Bet. Cut off service. The last phone call he made was to Verizon. They're like, yo, cut this number off. And then they would get in all sorts of fights because they, they things would happen and she would need him to come home. Yeah. And he, he was like, no, you can't reach me. I, I was on my phone too much. So send a, send a pigeon and I'll get there when I get there. But I'm out. I don't yeah. have a phone. She so went from, that's it. Yeah. She went from his wife to his pen pal. Yo, dead ass. <laughs> and that's so, that is, that is petty for real. That's, the, that is. Oh, I'm on my phone too much, bet. I don't have a phone. I don't have a phone. How are you going to get a contact? How am I going to get a contact with you? I don't know. Sounds like somebody else's problem. Yeah, I know. I'm good. I don't need a phone. I don't, yeah. I, you think I'm on it too much? I, I think you're right. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. And, and I'm going to listen to you. I'm going to do what you want me to do. Yeah. Yeah. No more. Yeah. And then a couple of days go by. She's like, well, I need you to get a phone. Oh. Oh, so look whose tune has changed. Yeah. That's a fucking crazy penny. Yeah. One. That's a. Uh, that, yeah. that, that would cause a couple arguments. See, you, I, I love how you're like, yeah, yes, bitch. Fuck his, fuck his superior. Cut off that HBO. But the, when it's a man getting his, now nah, nah, your tune's well, a little different. These are exes. Not when we're currently in a relationship. A marriage. A marriage. That's what I'm saying. A healthy marriage. Yeah. yeah that's, a, that's a nuts one. That's... I like that, though. If you're going to be petty, and I feel like, yo, once you're married, you're in it for the long haul. Like, you, what you going to give an inch? Yeah. Nah, you're not in a marriage, motherfucker. You're in a battle. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like my dad was a little bit like that. Yeah, like he actually wouldn't do it; he would just say it, and it was so exhausting. Yeah. So, it would, like, any time he got in trouble, like, um, one time my brother brought home some leftovers. My dad yeah. ended up eating the leftovers, and yeah. then the next day my brother was like, "Why did you eat that? I paid for that." And my dad was like, "Went off," and he's like, you "Don't eat anything in that fridge. I pay for everything in this fridge." And matter of fact, the air in this house, I pay for the house. Don't you know everything was so extreme? Yeah. And it's just like relax, well, you know. Man, come on, dude. Yeah. I had like three. I was really looking cutting forward to those off, spring rolls. Cutting off your phone is a level of petty I almost aspire to be. Yeah, that's real iconic shit. Yeah. That's like, all right, bet. I'll lose to that. Win. He's, you're, he is living with no fear. Yeah, I'll die to survive. That's crazy. I'll kill myself to prove a point. That's wild. <laughs> Yo, I love it. I love it. And it's like, when you when you realize you're the, this, this is one of the 48 laws of power, I think. Yeah. I don't know if that's true. I never read it because I have a father who loves me. <laughs> And, <laughs> and you respect women. One of the 48 laws of power, I believe, is never fight somebody who has nothing to lose. Yeah. And when you're in a marriage and you realize that your partner has nothing to lose and you have a beautiful family, it's like, well, maybe I should just let him be on his phone. 
<laughs> maybe, maybe even even though I'm right, maybe I don't have the steady hands or the commitment to to see this through. I love that he would rather instead of just like cutting down on, on the group chat, he was like, you know what? Fuck the group chat. Yeah, I'll never. I'll, he was ready to cut. He was ready to throw it all the way, just to make a point. I I I love it, and that's just the first of three. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> Number two is a little more fun. Uh, a friend hired me to f- to complete her school final. I did it, but she didn't pay, and I kept her favorite shoes as ransom. <laughs> did he? Did he put them on like Poshmark? I don't know what he did, but um, you know, I, I, I after hearing the first one, I don't doubt that he got his. Yeah, and I hope his wife didn't find the shoes. There'd be yeah. another. Fu- there'd be another fucking argument. The shoes are still there, and he's probably keeping them like in a fucking case. And he, at this point, he's telling his daughter, "When you're of age, these will go to these you. Will you they're like the these will pass down to you, and you pass them down forever. Yeah, don't ever, as long as fucking you don't give them back to Cheryl." <laughs> We live on. I love that it was in college, so like the shoes are probably hideous. Oh, they're probably fucking beat. Dude. Yeah, they're, they're probably, probably fucking Uggs that are like, like cool. <laughs> that are all wet and like faced in. You no, know what I mean? Was, it was like early two thousands. Uh, it was like early twenty tens. It's probably just a pair of Chinese chancletas. Yeah. <laughs> he said her These favorite, are favorite shoes. shoes. <laughs> Favorite shoes? You see the flower? I love that. She love them. All right, and the last one that we're gonna do. Um, I ordered Chinese food, and the Chino's delivery demanded more for a tip, so I decided to pay for the entire meal in pennies. I am dead because what I love more is that he, your friend, is a level of petty that again I I almost aspire to be, but it's like. What he's a level of petty that requires. Do you know how long it has to take you to to count that out? Unless he has them like rolled up, which my mom is big on that. Yeah, she'll spend like a day in the house and like roll up quarters. Yeah, I mean roll up pennies and and like whatever. That's you could have just said no. You know what I mean? You could have just turned the iPad that back around. But sometimes (laughs) I feel like you know when you don't tip enough especially sometimes with chinese delivery workers like sometimes there's a language barrier so them asking for their tip it comes off as rude rude yeah yeah. even though that's just them talking i think but i get it i can get the anger yeah i get the anger and um damn i've actually had a friend my friend sharif shout out to sharif if you're listening uh me and him bet something i can't remember what it was but i was really sharif is like you know he's a he's a man he does jujitsu he lives in florida so you know he's got a couple firearms (laughs) and uh he's from new york you know he's not afraid to use them yeah all right like he's a he's a guy that has an aura about him and uh, we bet on something and i was being really fucking fresh about it like i was like i was at this place i was like you know fucking not give me my fucking money i started talking crazy to him and then um, I, I started, I immediately backtracked because he like left the chat and I started to get scared. And then we met up, he paid me all the money he owned me, like 50 bucks, but all in pennies. That's... And it was a really funny thing, but I was shook for a second. Yeah, yeah, And that's also heavy to carry around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it was heavy to carry. I yeah, think, you were like, I hey, think big man, a... can you carry it for me? <laughs> I'm, just a, I'm just a baby. <laughs> I'm just a girl, like I'm just a girl, like I, my hair's down. I just got it done. I got it done, and like my hair products are on my back. Yeah. Like it's heavy already. But um, I actually think those fifty dollars in pennies are still in my apartment in Queens. I That's think really funny. Fun. We're gonna have to cash those in. We're tight for cash. Yeah. Next time a room wants to get a uti, and you don't have insurance, that's what's gonna pay for it. Yeah. What's the baby's name? Don't worry about a name. He's a penny. He's a penny. Don't fucking worry about yeah. it. I know a guy. You look a little bored. I bought you a little project. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. And also what it is, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of our episode. That's been that's episode it. 47. Thank you guys so much for listening. If you guys had a good time, please remember to like, subscribe, follow us for more, drop a comment, go to the Patreon, yes. www.patreon.com slash launch. Give us $5 a month. Get bonus content, bonus episodes, sets from our live show. It's a great time. Yes. Uh, another thing that we got coming up who's got a soft launch live show soft all right live show. it's going to be on june 8th which is a saturday mm-hmm. i'm almost 100 percent positive it's not the 8th it's the 9th either the 8th or the 9th definitely the 8th saturday the 8th june 8th 5 p.m at the stand the link will be in our bio use the link will be in our bio not our bio <laughs> it's going to be in our bio promo code monroe for half off tickets half off tickets come out Get your ticket out. It's going to sell it's out. It's going to be a good lineup as well. And then also, uh, we're going to wrap this up with our favorite people in the world. Shout out to the good folks at Lily. Yes. Um, dropping their new products. Remember, use the promo code SOFTIES. Yes. S-O-F-T-I-E-S for 20 percent off all lily products 20 percent off oh wow you can get you some drinks we have stickers we have hats that we've worn if you yes. guys like them. they got beautiful little lily flowers the new shipment is delicious we got the same blood orange and then next yes. week we're going to debut that new flavor because yes. we haven't had it yet um and yeah these are these are honestly they're so good i feel like delicious. they've completely helped me like 
relax after yeah. work. Um, so definitely get yourself some Lily. Anytime you watch Soft Launch and you see us and you're like, damn, these motherfuckers is chilling hard body. Yeah. It's because of the Lily, man. It's because of the Liliano. It's because of that Liliano. So get yourself and relax the Lily pad with us. Yes. And then last but not least, our homegirl, Daddy Abode. Yes. Has great decor, great candles. We still haven't burnt the peony and we should have because this apartment smelled like piss and shit and throw up. <laughs> but we were like, we had a conversation. We were like, you want to burn the peony? Literally. And she was like, I don't want to burn the peony. Yeah, literally. It smelled so bad. Out of here, and I was like, No, I, I don't. He's like, well, We should probably burn it tonight. And I was like, No, not at three o'clock in the yeah, morning. It's gotta be done in a nice way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got maybe we'll, I'm not ready to part with yeah, it. Yeah, it's so beautiful. But if you guys like this candle and any other candle, so any of the home pretty. products, it's beautiful. Go to Daddy Abode. We have the link in our bio. Use promo code SOFTY10, S O F T I E 10 for 10% off all orders of $50 or more for the rest of the month of May. So get moving. Make sure you do that. And thank you guys so much thank for listening so much. to another episode of the Soft Launch Podcast. I've been JC Mendoza. I am Samantha Santos. And we love y'all. We'll see y'all later. Bye. Peace.